Hi everybody, welcome back to Charmed Intuition Tarot. So if my stomach growls, don't don't mind. <laughs> don't mind me. Um, for today's video, we're going to find out what makes you lovable and special and why people are so drawn to you. So we've got three piles here and this is not real food. <laughs> as realistic as it looks, um, my stomach is growling. I wonder if you guys can even hear that. That'll be funny if you can. But for pile one, we've got cake pops. For pile two, we've got a sundae with some marshmallows and sauce. And then for pile three, we've got a cupcake with a candy strawberry. And these were made by a very talented artist. Her Instagram handle is all things Jess. I will link it down below as well as her Etsy shop. And you can buy realistic food there and treats. And she had seen my videos where I used, I, I had made a actual root beer float and a milkshake and they melted. By the time I did my reading, they would melt and my ice cream would melt. And it was just, um, a delicious problem, but still a problem because they would melt too quickly. Um, so now I have these treats that I can use and they won't melt and they always look delicious. So very, very excited. Just to remind you, in case you want to pick and skip my little intro here, we've got pile one, pile two, pile three. We'll take a nice deep breath together. Okay, you probably for sure heard my stomach there. That is so loud. Okay, I just want to show you guys really quickly the decks that I chose today. They're all food, treat, candy themed. We've got the donut lovers playing cards. Each card has a donut and a little description. So I'll read the donut intuitively and the um, card based on its corresponding tarot card. We also have the chocolate lovers oracle cards with delicious chocolate treats on them. And then, of course, I had to use my Ice Cream Oracle, one of my very, very favorite decks in my entire collection is this one right here. I love it. And then, as far as your tarot cards, I decided to use the Happy Tarot because it's very candy, treat, cupcakes. Visually, it's just absolutely delicious. And my stomach is growling, so I'm going to get started. Thank you guys so much for watching um, my videos and subscribing. To those of you that haven't, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video as it does help the channel um, quite a bit when you like the video. So thank you so much for those of you that have done so. And we will start with number one. Okay, group one. So if you chose the cake pops for your treat, then this is your message about what makes you lovable and special. So let's look at your cards first and then we'll do the charms. So for your cards, you have the three of pentacles. For your donuts, you've got toffee apple. It says toffee apple flavored glaze. And you have sparkle stars. It says pretty edible foil stars decorate an elegant base. Your chocolate, you have almond chocolate actually one of my favorites and then your two ice creams you have blue moon and rocky road this one is adventure preparation and challenge the blue moon is dream imagine and create so group one we'll do your charms in just a minute Okay, so you know what, let's start with your almond chocolate. So you've got achievements. So I feel like something that's lovable about you is the way you you go about life in general, but I feel like you're somebody, I mean, we've got the three of pentacles here too. So I feel like you're somebody who works hard, but the thing about the three of pentacles is it's you working hard and, and kind of mastering a skill, but it's also extremely supportive. This is like teamwork energy. So I feel like you're somebody who helps other people achieve things as well. So you are the kind of person to give other people credit where credit is due. You are, I th you're someone who wants other people to win. Like you're very supportive. You, you also hear other people's points of views and their input without judgment. So people find you very approachable. And I really think like you really want people to do well with this achievements card. So I just want to see what this chocolate card has to say. High expectations, grand ideal workaholic. So you definitely do work hard. The fact that you've got this achievements card and then the three of pentacles, you are somebody who works very hard. And I think the reason why that makes you so lovable is just the fact that you really want to see other people do well. So you're, you're, what I'm picking up on here is supportive because we've got that three of pentacles here. 
Now the toffee apple. So I'm going to go kind of based on what that flavor means to me. Then I'll read it as the corresponding tarot card as well. So toffee apple, when I think of toffee apple, I would think of like, that's a very classic flavor pairing. So I would think of reliable, which makes sense. Um, you know, the seven of pentacles too, would be just about patience as well. Be, you know, being very resilient. You're somebody who sets goals. So you do have a lot of pentacles vibes here. So you've got the three of pentacles, you've got the seven of pentacles, you've got a wands here. We'll get to that in a minute. But yeah, I really think that you're somebody who's patient and supportive. You don't quit. And I think that's something people really love about you is where other people would probably, you know, quit at something that they're trying to accomplish. You just keep pushing on. And by doing that, you're actually inspiring other people. Like I, I think people find you extremely inspiring. It's almost like you refresh their, you refresh their creativity as well. And then you also have the sparkle star. So the star card is what I'm thinking of. So immediately what, what I was saying with like, you make people feel hopeful. And then, like I was saying, you inspire people. You, you make people feel inspired and refreshed almost. I feel like you are you're a dreamer, you're very vision, like you're a visual or visionary type person, uh, very creative. I think you really do spark people's imagination. So when they talk to you, and this is really a nice gift to have, like really when you think about it, imagine you're somebody who when people talk to you, they leave and they feel inspired, they feel happy, they feel better about themselves. And there's that quote about you know, people might not remember what you did or what you said, but they will remember how you make them feel. And that's exactly what you do is you make people feel very inspired and you make them feel capable. And that really is something that's like a gift that you give people by being supportive and energetic about people's ideas. And when you listen, when people talk to you, they really know that you're listening. Like if you ever talk to someone and you're like talking and, and they're looking at their phone or they're kind of, their eyes kind of glaze over and you know they're not really hearing it, that's not what you do. So when people talk to you, they feel very heard and that's like a huge thing for people is to feel heard and understood. And that's exactly what you make people feel. So back to this toffee, I feel like caramel, caramel, comment below if you call it caramel or caramel, but caramel, toffee, same kind of vibe, and apple is such a classic pairing, and that's what's making me think of like that re uh, reliability, and that makes sense with the seven of pentacles too, actually, because that is about patience and kind of, you know, that, that urge and that inner strength to keep going even when things get challenging or even when we're not seeing exactly what we want to be seeing we just keep moving you keep pushing so it's a very resilient card and that's what's making me think of like reliability sorry guys can't talk so let's look at your ice creams you've got rocky road adventure preparation challenge so rocky road this is just making me think like maybe you're the kind of person well number one you're likely very adventurous and people admire that but also i feel like you're somebody people look to for advice and guidance when they're going through rocky, rocky times in their life. So you're the person that they can count on. I feel like you always give very positive advice and advice with the star vibe here that makes people feel really hopeful as well. Because again, you really want people to do well. You know, I love those quotes just talking about like, you know, cheering other people on. I can't quote it now. You guys know me. I'm so horrible with quotes, but like cheering other people on. There was one along the lines of like, you know, um, lighting someone else's candle doesn't dim your own. You know what I mean? So you can want other people to do well and achieve and, and have an awesome outcome and, and achieve their goals. And it doesn't mean that your goals are any less special. And I think you're someone that realizes that you really are a team effort type of person. I think you work well with others and nowadays that's extremely valuable quality and that's what makes you lovable. You're likely the person who's like a peacekeeper in a situation. You're the person that people go to for advice and you're you're clearly somebody that people can go to who they, they trust with their problems and they trust you probably with very personal information. I wouldn't be surprised if you're somebody who knows a lot of secrets about people and you value those secrets like you're not someone who's going to go gossip and spread those things around because you do want people to do well and people tell you these things because you're just I think very trusting and very reliable then you have blue moon dream imagine create so create would make sense with that three of pentacles but I think too 
you are just a very creative person, but I'm picking up more on like creative problem solving ideas, solutions. Like I think you're, a, you're somebody who, you know what it is? I think when someone has a problem, you're the first person they think of to message or call or even just look to for guidance. So right now, depending on when you're watching this, of course, but if you're watching it during, you know, everything that's happening, that's challenging right now in the world, you're probably the person that's posting inspiring quotes and guidance and things that are really helping lift people up. And that's really lovable. You know, when you're the kind of person that if someone was really having a hard time, you almost can't bear it. Like you really wanna help people. You're likely the kind of person that when you see somebody uh, leave a comment on a Facebook post, for example, and you can tell that they're not you know, feeling well, you respond kindly and supportive. And like, I just feel like you're the kind of person that goes out of their way to help other people where other people might not. You know what I mean? And I think other people might not even notice it, but you're someone who notices. You notice how your friends are feeling. You notice how your family's feeling. And I think that kind of goes hand in hand with your helpful attitude is because you notice these people having challenging times or if they're feeling a little bit down, you really do go out of your way to make them feel better. So you're definitely a people person. Uh, and and I say that like it doesn't mean you're you, you're extroverted or you like to go out and you know meet lots of people, but the people that you have in your life you really value, even if it's just a small few. You know you really do value them, and they always know that you're the kind of person that they they can count on. Like you will always be that friend. You're like a lifelong type friend. You're the kind of friend that people want to have forever and never lose. You know, when you drift in friendships, that'll happen. That starts to happen in life. But you're the friend that people are like terrified. They never want to drift from. They always want to have you. Let's see what your charms have to add to this group one. But this is really nice. And I and I feel that warm energy. And it's, 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 uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like proactive, practical energy. I think you got, you really do give people solutions to problems that they could actually implement so you're not someone who gives them like just inspiring quotes for the sake of it but you're someone who gives them actual like okay this is what you need to do um to get out of this situation or this is what you need to do to solve this problem so you're actually there for them to help them solve the problem every step of the way with really practical advice and like really good advice i think that you're somebody who's likely very wise beyond their years i think you've gone through lots of experiences as well which probably lends itself to like just the way you are and how helpful you are but let's look at your charm Three, so the number three might be significant to you for some reason. Oh, look at that. Remember I was talking about trusting, like the secrets, the diary. People look at you as almost like their diary. Like you're like the diary friend where people can say, look, like this, this is something we need to keep between us. So you're very trusting. Let's put the letters up here for you. You can take a look. Two N's and an F. Love. So your friends really do love you and they find you very loving too. Spirit. People love your spirit. Like you've got a really, and that's what I'm picking up on. Like you've got this like warm understanding spirit, this non judgmental soul about you where people know that they can trust you and talk to you. You're definitely not somebody, sometimes when this top hat lands this way, it comes through as like, um, I, I, I sometimes get it as like a closed off energy or, or not being very approachable. But in this instance, just the way it landed and the feeling I'm getting, I feel like you're very approachable and non-judgmental. Then we have the little hand attached here to the ring. So people are very attached to you. They never want to lose you. That's kind of like what I was saying earlier. People don't want to lose you. They're very... Oh, and look, you've got the Ace of... Oh, okay. The Ace of Swords makes sense because you provide clarity for people. You provide... And that really is, is such an important thing. Like if you can imagine a time where you felt very stressed or anxious and somebody came along and said something that just cleared everything up to you for you and just gave you 
a sense of clarity and peace in your mind and like new and new possibilities and outcomes like that's such an important quality to have like this is really you really do make a, a major difference in people the little mirror here is making me think of self-reflection as well so i feel like you help people reflect on things and work things out you help people deal with things in a way that i feel like a lot of people could only get from you like you're that one person for them where they can really just kind of work things out <clears throat> you've got the little sailboat too with the turtle i feel like that's coming through as like reliable and the, the little sailboat's reminding me of like going with the flow but also like you're you're weathering the storm for them like you're that captain is kind of what i'm imagining like you're you're somebody to guide them when they're feeling really like lots of turmoil and that rockiness like we talked about with the rocky road card when they're feeling that rockiness you're someone that helps them navigate and steer so that they feel a lot clearer so you're really a problem solver by nature and i think you probably notice that in your day-to-day -day life you're probably really good you're someone who's likely very good in stressful situations. So where other people might kind of crumble under stress, that's usually when you kind of step up to the plate and you feel very, like you just want to help and guide people and you're the helper. I love that Mr. Rogers quote, you know, when something's scary, you see something scary on the news, look for the, look for the helpers. That's you. You're the helper. The uh, hot air balloon reminds me of perspective. So you shift perspective for people. You help them look at things through a different perspective. So lots of clarity with Ace of, the Ace of Swords, the perspective charm, and what we were talking about earlier about like the guidance and helping people achieve and, and helping give really positive, constructive advice is what I'm really picking up on here. Now there is, oh, look at this. Oh, you, oh my gosh, look at this. So you are somebody who carries the weight for people but just remember as i'm saying this like i'm seeing how supportive and loving you are and how you bring balance to people and you help them navigate really kind of challenging unfamiliar scenarios but just remember to take care of you too right like take care of yourself as well as well with the eyes here and the you like i think it's we're just getting a reminder is it's wonderful the way that you are and how caring and loving and protective you are but just remember to take care of yourself as well and your friends would want that too right because that's what they love about you they love how supportive you are and caring you are and and always there for them but they would want you to feel that too so just remember to you know think of yourself as well and think about what you need and, and sometimes you might need to talk or share feelings too because i feel like you are the diary you're the diary for people where people just come and they just empty out all their feelings and their thoughts and they feel super refreshed. And then sometimes you might even feel exhausted by that. And again, I think you're more of a practical thinker. You're definitely emotional. You've got that emotional vibe to you, but I think you're definitely a problem solver. You are always in your own head. I think you are a thinker for sure. You're a thinker. And that's why people can count on you is because I think you really provide them with really rational, practical advice that they can actually use. And that's like, you know, when you're looking to someone for advice and they just give you like very surface advice and you kind of don't feel like they really heard or, or you know what I, you know what I'm trying to say? This per you as a person, you are somebody who actually gives them advice and then like checks up on them. You really want to help them progress. Um, so the door is interesting. The door usually makes me think of like, uh, a new phase. And then with the rabbit, like leaping ahead vibe as well, I feel like you help people. Just like I was saying earlier, you really want to see people achieve. You want to see people move ahead and, and be their very best. Like you want to see people win and do well. And that's just such a beautiful quality about you. You're very balanced too. Like people, again, they, they find you you bring them balance but you're you just exude this sense of like calm and while other people are panicking you know you're the calm one and even if you feel anxious sometimes it doesn't mean that you don't bring people calmness right because we all feel anxiety but you definitely provide people with the sense of calm and people are very attached to you very very attached to you and you help people problem solve so these are all really beautiful qualities and you're you're worldly too i feel like you're an old soul so people really like 
cherish the advice that you give. And, I, and like I was saying earlier, I think that comes from experience. I think you're very experienced. I think you've been through your own whole bunch of different challenges and rocky road um, so that you are very experienced and you're up for a challenge. And I think you've got this adventurous vibe to you that people just admire because they see how brave you are. You know, they see, they see your bravery. And, you know, by the way, being brave doesn't mean, you know, not being scared. Bravery is really about feeling scared, but doing it anyways, being up for the challenge. So that's, that's you. Um, I think with the, with the pot, the pot always makes me think of like boiled over emotions. When things get very heated, you're good at like sort of tempering that, calming things down. So you, with the way your mind works, you actually help people deal with lots of really emotional issues and you take the stress off of people. I bet you you're the kind of person that like if someone was out of food right now, you'd make them a care package. You'd make them, you'd put like bread and juice and peanut butter and all these things in a package and bring it to them. Like you're the kind of person that would do that. And that is such like an amazing quality. And the ghost too, like what I, like I was saying, I think you've been through some sort of struggle as well, whether it be financial or, or anything, honestly, emotional, relationship, childhood, you've been through your own little struggle. And I think that's what makes you such a strong person because we can all go through things. And, you know, when people say, oh, I've been through this and this is why I treated this person badly, you're not that person. You take these trials and different challenges and you, you use it to make, you know, to treat people better and to provide strength, okay? So love this, love all these qualities about you. If this is resonating, if you feel like this sound, you know, sounds familiar and it feels like you, I'd love to hear it in the comments down below because I'd love to hear your input um, as to whether you think you picked the right pile. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you next Hi, time. Group two. So if you chose the ice cream with the marshmallows and the looks like strawberry syrup, then this is your message. We'll put your ice cream there. We'll look at your cards first and then we'll do your charms. So let's see what you got. Let's see why you are so lovable. Okay, we've got the Empress. For your chocolate, we have welcome home chocolate. Happy home, it says. It's an interesting one. For your donuts, we have vanilla sprinkle, vanilla glaze with sprinkles, and the corresponding tarot card would be the Seven of Wands. And you have Raspberry Love Heart Donut, a heart-shaped donut for that special donut lover, and that's the Ace of Cups. So we've got the Empress, Seven of Wands, and Ace of Cups. And for your Ice Cream Oracle, you've got Maple, Kindness, Friendship, and Support. And Fig, so Abundance, Fertility, and Expansion. That's interesting, because you've got Fig, which is a symbol of fertility, and you also have the Empress, which can be a very that same kind of vibe. But in this instance, we're not really talking about fertility. It would be more of that uh, caring, nurturing energy. So let's see here, group one, what makes you lovable? Like I said, we'll do the charms in just a minute. Let's focus on these first. So why don't we start? We'll start with this Ace of Cups. So as a person, the Ace of Cups, this would be you being very sensitive. You're very caring. Um, you're romantic, you're loving. You are likely someone who people are just very drawn to emotionally, so on a friendship level, but oftentimes I'm getting kind of that romantic vibe too. So people find you romantic. Um, and again, that doesn't always have to be like in a romantic sense, but they find you, um, there's just like this alluring quality about you is kind of what I'm picking up on here. So let's see donut so it looks like there's like raspberry filling or something so I feel like oh I, I feel like you are just a, someone who's just got a huge heart and you're very caring and like generous is kind of what I'm feeling I feel like you're very very generous now the vanilla vanilla sprinkle and this would be a seven of wands so vanilla glazed with sprinkle so this flavor is a lot more this is like a, a classic flavor, right? When we think of like donuts, this is one of the more classic ones. So I'm thinking of like re reliability. Uh, this would mean to me like trusting, um, very familiar. 
and nostalgic too. I think, you know, you've got this sense of familiar, even when someone just meets you, they feel like they've known you, like you've got this familiar vibe about you where they just feel comfortable immediately. That's what I'm feeling here. Now, the seven of wands, if we're looking at that, I feel like you're someone who defends your loved ones, like fiercely defends your loved ones. But I also see that you're very kind hearted, like you're very loving and soft by nature, you're very loving. But having said that, you're also very defensive of the people in your life. So your loved ones, your friends, like you're the, you're the person who would stand up for, for people that really need it. So you are, that's what's lovable about, lovable about you is that you are so loving and kind and soft natured, but you're also a protector by nature. And we get that too with the Empress too, because the Empress really is a nurturing energy, but with that becomes comes that protective nature too, right? Because that's a motherly energy. And you don't have to be a mother mother to get this card. It's it's that energy of it. It's that nurturing, caring energy. And the Empress card can also have to do with um uh having like a tr I'm getting this vibe with that strawberry heart and then even just this fig, like you're very attractive physically to people. So your physical features are very attractive to people as well. Your individual features that make you unique are very alluring to people. Like you're the kind of person, like your eyes or something about you, you know, when people walk past you, they're like, oh my gosh, like look at, look at her, or look at him. Like you've got this, this thing about you that is, I'm kind of getting almost like unexplainable and unique but familiar and it's kind of hard to put my finger on because you've got this familiar nurturing comfort energy but it's like they're drawn to you over this like alluring kind of energy that you have and I think that just comes with your energy like you're very comforting and people just want to be around you and talk to you and and hear what you have to say and like they just really enjoy being with you and I think it's because you make them feel so comfortable as well. So abundance of the fig. So immediately when I thought of the fig with the fertility, I linked it immediately to that empress. But let's see what else we have here because we've got abundance and expansion. So abundance, as far as the personality trait, would make me think of uh, pop, probably like generosity. Um, and then supportive too. And I'm seeing here there's a fig Newton. <laughs> okay, so fig Newtons, I don't know if you've ever had a fig Newton cookie, but they're delicious. But they're very... Um, they're not usually the first cookie people would reach for. They're an old fashioned kind of cookie. Um, I love them, but I don't, even, I don't even think I've had a Fig Newton in years. But the vibe I'm getting from Fig Newton um, is just old soul. Like you've got this sort of uh, supportive energy, which we see with the Empress, but it's like this old soul energy where you've got this wisdom that people can just count on. And again, that kind of goes with that familiar vibe. It's almost like you remind people of someone that they feel like they've known their whole life, even though if they've just met you. And you'll probably notice this when you meet people, right? Because they, you, you're probably someone who makes people feel comfortable immediately. And you probably feel rather comfortable around people um, for the most part, um, fairly quickly. Once you get to know them, you just feel very comfortable and familiar with them. So maple. So the creator of this deck is so clever. She did put a lot of thought into the ice cream flavors. And what I've noticed about maple is as a Canadian, you know, maple Canadian, people often associate Canadians with kindness, which I love. I think that's awesome. But I, I wonder if that's what she was going for here. But anyways, um, kindness. So that you're a kind person. You're, you're, you're a good friend and you're supportive too. And that supportive energy, again, is carried through with that empress. You're very supportive. People can count on you. You know, they, they just want to talk to you and they're drawn to you. That's kind of the energy I'm mostly picking up on is just the fact that people are very drawn to you. They have a hard time not being around you. In fact, right now, if you're doing social distancing, they're probably having a really hard time not seeing you, whether that be coworkers or friends in general or family. Uh, people just want to be around you. And then we have, so the welcome home, happy home. So immediately, let me just take a glance here. This card represents moving home. Um, okay, so that home vibe could kind of fit into what I was getting at with like that familiar vibe. 
but the welcome home more so what I'm picking up on is just like the level of comfort that you provide to people because if you look at this picture there's like wine and chocolate and a gift so that kind of goes in with the abundance too with the generosity vibe like I think you're generous and you're kind and you're giving and you're supportive so much so that I think you sometimes forget about yourself so it is you know with the empress we can talk about self-care as well so I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything here. The vanilla is really jumping out at me today, the vanilla sprinkle. Because immediately at first glance, I think of reliability and familiar. That feeling of like they know you, they've, they've met you before, even if they haven't. Um, that nostalgia vibe, you know, vanilla sprinkle reminds me of a donut that I would have picked as a kid. Like the first one I would have picked would have been sprinkles and, and icing and all of that. So there's that familiar vibe, but I think... What's jumping out at me too is that seven of, of wands because with all of this kindness and energy or positive energy that you have, there is still that defensiveness. So people know that you would always defend them in a, in a challenge. You're, you're, you're wildly defensive of the people that you love and that become that comes from your protective nature. Because again, I think you are so protective by nature and you want you just want to keep everyone safe. I think you're someone that just wants to keep everyone safe and happy and you spoil people. I think you're you're very giving like with that um abundance, like you're very giving your energy. You just you you're the kind of person who would give someone like your last item. Do you know what I mean? Like if you were eating a plate of fries and someone asked for a fry, you're like, "Yep." Like you're just generous. That's a bad example, but you know what I mean? Like you're just someone who gives and gives and gives and people know that they can count on you as well and a supportive friend and just kind like your kindness is really what's sticking out at me here but not kindness to the point where you're going to allow people to get stepped on because you really are that that seven of wands almost sticks out uh very differently from the other ones like with the fig i'm thinking of the empress and that uh nurturing energy that old soul su supportive energy like I was talking about and then the kindness and the, that nurturing energy with the empress of caretaker right because that's I mean you're likely someone who just by nature would make an excellent mother or father you're someone who would make an excellent teacher a, a nurse like a carer you are a caring person but then we've got that seven of wands right which you're not backing down so if if someone were to you know you know, bug someone that you loved or, or bother someone that you loved or do anything to someone that you loved, you would be like very defensive. You're the first person to step up and be like, back off. Like, you know what I mean? Like you are just that person. And again, back to that kind of romantic vibe, I think the, the ace of cups. So when we look at the ace of cups in tarot, traditionally it's a hand. All right. So I think you're the first person to lend a hand. You're the first person to reach out and ask someone, do you need help? Like, do you need, do you need to talk? Do you need to you know, share anything like you're that person for people. So really beautiful qualities. Let's see what that little sprinkle. Let's see what your charms have to add to this group too. Okay, so you're funny. Look, you've got you're you're funny. Um, you definitely have a musical vibe to you as well. So maybe you're musically talented. Oops. Oh, excellent friend. So this would go into friendship and support card with that maple, maple ice cream. Okay, with this charm, I think of friendship and support. Oops, sorry, guys. Clumsy today, my goodness. But yeah, having people's back, you know, being connected, being an excellent friend, that's you. Oh, romance. What I was saying earlier, like maybe that explains it. You've got this like... Oh, and know what's interesting here? Okay, I'll get to both of these in a second. But first, the um, old-fashioned romance. What I was talking about earlier was that fig ice cream. I think you're just like an old soul. You've got this like this worldly nature about you that makes people instantaneously trust you. So old-fashioned, and, and you've got that romantic vibe too. So people are likely very attracted to you physically. So for whatever quality it is that's unique to you, whether it be your eyes or your hair, the way you style your hair, or just anything, your your cheeks, the way they blush, like different things. People are like, oh my gosh, like look at him or her, look at her, she's she's beautiful, or you know what I mean? Like that's people are very and I think too, when I say that, I think it's because your inner beauty, 
your inner beauty shines through so strongly that people can see that through the outside. They can see this glow about you. So, oh, okay, so back to this. So inside here, you could be a Taurus here. Um, but again, I, I just get this vibe of like, this is really stuck in there, my goodness. I just get this overall vibe of like you not backing down. Like you'll never quit. Um, when it comes to the people that you care about, you'll never back down. You'll always protect them. You are a protector by nature. That's what makes you lovable is that you care for people and you protect them and you want to see them do well. And this is really stuck in there. I'm not going to try and get that out. Um, so we've got two Qs here. So Q might be a, a significant letter to you. If not, don't worry. It could be for someone else. We also have I-L-T-A-N and a G. So those letters might be significant to a few of you, but if they're not, don't worry. All right. All right, so the uh, crystal teardrop, this is all about challenges making you stronger. I think you're the first person to dry someone's tears. I think you are strong from what you've accomplished and what you've gone through. I think you are, it's made you strong and it's made you very supportive. It's also made you very brave. I think you have a brave, very brave, kind heart. Um, the whistle, again, is making me think of, like, that defensiveness. Like, you're going to put a stop to anything that you see that isn't fair. Okay, because I'm thinking of, like, you know, a penalty in hockey or something like they they blow the whistle, you know, to halt something that isn't, isn't supposed to be. So that's you. Um, avocado, I think, is really interesting with all of this uh, fertility imagery that you have because you've got the avocado which is you know it can be a symbol of fertility but in this instance I'm getting that as that motherly nurturing energy and just if you're a male or masculine if you identify as male and you're watching this it doesn't mean you can't have that energy we all have yin and yang energy we all have masculine and feminine energy in us so um, either way you've got this caring um just that compassion the empress is all about compassion and caring and nurturing um, protective energy and the empress is also very creative and I see that possibly you're very musically creative so your love of music or your song taste might be something that a few people are like oh my gosh I love their taste in music they just shared this song um, it really inspired me it could be something as little as that too right so the alien <clears throat> the alien makes me think of things that are fearful or unknown the unknown in general things we don't understand so maybe you help provide people with comfort in the, in the face of things that they don't understand or in the face of things that are very scary, you provide people with lots of comfort. So this is a little bit of masculine energy coming in with all of this feminine energy. And that's what I was picking up on with that vanilla, with that vanilla donut is even though you are so soft and kind and natured, that's just your nature, you're, you're, you're kind, but you are also someone who will defend the people that you love. And you've likely been in that scenario where you've had to stick up for someone. I feel like you're the kind of person that if you hear people gossiping, you don't pay no mind to that because you're just like, no, no. Like you're, you're someone who you use your intuition. I feel like you're very intuitive and, and you really, you would, you would be the kind of person that would put an end to that. You would change the subject. You would, you know what I mean? Like you would be very, um, Again, just caring and loving and kind. Your kindness is really what glows and makes you glow. And like I was saying earlier, that really would, that really is a huge part of what makes you attractive because your inner beauty group too is really what is shine, is, it shines in you. It's an aura. And I think that's what I was picking up on is this attractiveness. People are pulled to you. It's like the sun, right? When you think about the sun, you know, it's just warm energy. It's soft. It's like just this warming, calming energy. You know, um, when we think of too, that light energy that I'm picking up from you, that ambiance, that, that I'm just feeling like this warm glow energy from you. And if you think of that too, people can sometimes sort of take advantage of that energy. If you think of like when the lights are off, or it's dark outside, you, you turn the porch light on and then all the mosquitoes kind of are attracted to that. So you might find that happen sometimes where your kindness, people are drawn to it and not everyone has your best interest at heart, but you're just so kind hearted. And I think that's why it's, it's good to see. I'm happy that we saw this seven of wands because that tells me that you're not someone you will defend yourself. And that's, I really want you to, to do that too. Like defend yourself if you need to. Um, it's, it's important. 
and I, I think I fall into this category. I like, you know, a lot of people comment on my kindness and I, I, I appreciate that. But, you know, if, if anyone were to hurt my loved ones, like, no way. No, no way. So it's that kind of vibe with you. Do you know what I mean? Oh, we're missing a charm here. We had the mountain here. Um, the mountain's making me think immediately of perspective. Okay, so again, maybe you, you help people see a wider, broad or broader perspective of things and scenarios and different things. Very, very nice. So yeah, you are very loving and kind and soft. You've got this romantic vibe about you and this allure people are just drawn to, but you're also someone who will fiercely de defend the people um, that they care about. And that's a beautiful quality too. You're, you're, you are the kind of person that will make a change in the world because when you see something that's wrong happening, you speak up, right? You speak up and I think that's wonderful. And then you just got this, you've got this softness about you and this, this kindness and maturity. There's a strong maturity with you group too, where you're mature. And I, I think that's what I was getting at with the whole gossiping thing. Like when you're listening to that petty gossip and things that you know aren't true, you're not someone to get sucked into it and you're not someone to spread things and you're not malicious. You're not a malicious person. You're the opposite. You're caring and you're kind and you want to, you want to be supportive of people. And I love that about you. I think that's awesome. So I hope you enjoyed this group too. I think you guys are awesome. Um, comment below if you're resonating. If this is resonating, if it sounds like you, I'd love to hear it. And we will see you next. Hi, group three. So if you chose this cute little cupcake with the glittery strawberry, then this is your message. So we'll put your cupcake here for now. And we'll look at your charms, of course. But first, we're going to do your cards. I'm just going to move my cord over here because it's moving the camera. So let's look at your cards first. Let's see what is so lovable about you, group three. So for your donut cards, you have bite-sized ring. And so this would be the 10 of cups with tarot. And it just says bite-sized ring donuts glazed and covered in sprinkles. Your second donut, you've got jelly donut, classic combination. This is the ace of swords. For your third tarot, you've got the nine of pentacles. So that's an interesting combo so far. So for your ice cream oracle, sorry, I'm making a mess here. You've got avocado ice cream and mango. So the avocado is self-care, beauty, and healing. And mango is attraction, intrigue, and sensuality. So you've definitely already got this intriguing vibe to you where people find you very alluring. And then for your chocolates, you, so you, you, okay, you were the, sorry, tongue tied. You were the group, you guys got two chocolates. So I decided to take them both. And you've got chocolate bullets. This is about intuition and chocolate box mystery. This card reminds me of Forrest Gump and I'm pretty sure, yes. Yeah, so in the words of Forrest Gump, life is like a box of chocolates full of mystery. You never know what you're going to get. Okay. And I think that might summarize you. You never know what you're going to get. And I think that's your, okay. That kind of just made sense. Um, as a jumping off point is I think people, you're exciting for people. You're very exciting for people. You're, um, I'm almost getting like exotic. So people are, you're unlike some, you're unlike anyone people have met. You're unique. Okay. So that's a good place to start here. So let's look at your ace of, uh, this is the ace of swords, pardon me. So I was going to say wands, but swords. So jelly donut, the classic combination. So jelly donut, <laughs> just at a glance here, I mean, a jelly donut looks like a regular donut. And then when you, you know, open it up, it's, it's a surprise. So I think for you, you've got this mystery because you've got that mystery chocolate too. You've got this, like this mystery about you. People can't quite, um, figure you out. And that's lovable. Like that's a really, cause you've got this, and then you've got the intuition vibe going here as well. Intrigue. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and then you've got this independence vibe with the nine of pentacles. So group three. Group threes, I'm not surprised. For some reason, if you tend to be very attracted to group three, there's something mysterious about you anyway. Because I find the group threes, without fail, are always giving me these kinds of answers. So for you, something that people find lovable about you, we'll start with the intuition. So you're intuitive. So people, you're not the kind of person though, like you don't, um, you don't fall for anything. Um, so people know that they can't really run one past you. And I think they actually admire that about you. Um, so you're, you're very, you see past anything, you see past any illusion, illusion. You're very, very 
intuitive as a person. Let's just see what this says. So psychic and intuitive awareness is all around you at this time. Embrace the spiritual chapter of your life and open your senses to a higher level of understanding. Um, okay, so it's very important to trust your instincts. So yeah, you're, you've got this instinct and this intuition about you. And I think people really do, I think they count on it as well. Like I think people are very, um, there's something about you. People just can't, and even as I'm trying to explain it, I can't even quite put my finger on what it is. And we saw that with the attraction, intrigue, and sensuality. You're unfamiliar to people. You've got this like uniqueness. Of, you're unlike anyone that they've ever met. Like I said, you're just unique. You're special. You've got this special, unique quality. This could be like physical qualities too. Maybe you've got really um, piercing eyes, but I think more so it's just about your personality. You've got mystery. You've got this air of magic about you that people you're like magical to people you're magic and I think people really do um, appreciate the advice that you give them as well now with this we've got the ten of cups so what I'm seeing with the donuts is just like how they're in a group so I feel like you're somebody who is likely very supportive you're a team player so you're very fair I think to people I think um, people, the way they're depicted here, I feel like people gather, like they want to be around you. You're probably very, and that kind of goes in with that intrigue. You're almost like, honestly, I'm seeing like magnet, like you're a magnet to people. They're drawn to you. Uh, they, they're, they're curious about you. Yeah, I love, I love this. So I'm seeing here with the Ten of Cups as, as a tarot card, though, would be talking about as a person, you'd be very, you're a committed person. You're an excellent friend. I feel like you're the best friend that someone could ever possibly ask for. And it's because you never, number one, you never quit on people. You're, you're not a quitter. Um, you're a long-term friend. You're the kind of person, like, once they become your friend, you're friends for life. Unless, of course, um, you know, something to do with your intuition. They, you know, they, they betray your trust or something like that. Because for you, I think, you know, with the Ten of Cups, trust is extremely important for you because you are such a good friend and you're so trusting and you're like a vault of a friend um you know that's really important to you now with you group group three <laughs> you guys are definitely the most like lovable qualities obviously your beauty is on the inside it shines through but you guys definitely have a physical aspect to this um, with the self-care beauty and healing you've got this beauty about you and just like I you know I was explaining like beauty really comes as we know it's on the inside and you know the most beautiful person on earth if they've got a really mean-spirited personality or they're manipulative or lie you know that can kind of you know take away some of that beauty but I think you you've got this beauty on the inside that also seems to really show on the outside and I think people are, are, again, like just this this pull, this magnetic pull to you. They're very, very drawn to you. And I think that that comes from the mystery. I don't think that you're someone that opens up very easily to people. I think you're mysterious. I think you're, you've got, you're full of surprises. I'm getting that you're very, your excitement, you're full of excitement. And too, with like the, the nine of pentacles, this is very independent. I feel like you're lovable because people see how independent you are. And similar, like what I was talking about, this air of mystery, that independence kind of shows through, like you don't, you don't, uh, you're not the kind of person that relies on anyone, but people really do um, enjoy being with you and, and they count on you and all of that, but you're very independent by nature. I feel like you're someone who probably is fine being alone. Um, you enjoy your own company, which is a really awesome quality. I think that's important for us to enjoy our own company and, and all of that. So you are you are that. And having said that, because of that, people are really drawn to you as well because they recognize that in you. They recognize that you're the kind of person they want to spend time with. And they really want to get to know. And even though you don't open up to people, the people that you do open up to and share your thoughts with and your dreams and your goals, they really do value that. Um, the box of chocolates is also, have you ever seen the movie Matilda? <laughs> I think it came out in the 90s. Um, I'm a 90s girl, but uh, Matilda, it's reminding me of the chocolate box in Matilda. And it's like, it's making me think of like, you are, you're like, you're a special treat for people. You're so, you're very memorable to people. Like people, 
when they're with you, they never forget you. I bet you're the kind of person like after someone, you know, has been around you, they leave and they think about you for hours and hours and hours. You've got this like magnetic, it's the magnetic word I keep using, but that's you. You've got this like this pull on people and they're drawn to you and they're intrigued by you with that mango ice cream and the sensuality too. You've, you've got this air of like, um, uh, sensual energy. So everything that you do, you've just got this, like this thing. I can't even really pick a word to describe it other than magnet, which I know I've used a few times, but that's the only word that's coming to me here. Um, time with you as well is very healing for people. So when people are around you and spending time with you, they come out healed. And I think that has to do with your psychic energy that you're putting off with the intuition card. And I think you, you are likely an empath. Maybe that goes into why you're so independent um, as a person in general. I think you're just someone who you you do you do well with people but i think because of your empathy and, and the way that you are and how you recharge people people are like drawn to you and sometimes maybe that's what comes you really need that time to step away and kind of recharge i think that's it's like recharging a battery or a magnet you know what i mean like you are you need to recharge sometimes because people are like just so pulled to you and they they take energy because they they you're like this um what am i trying to describe here you're like a charging station <laughs> you're like the, the charging station for people they just want to be around you because you just recharge them that's you you just are are invigorating for people and you inspire people and, and you've got this like I can't I'm sorry guys I can't quite put, pick the word I'm trying to describe maybe it'll come to me um help me down below in the comments of some words that you might kind of tie into what I'm trying to say here but uh, it's like this mystery and uh, intrigue and I, it's just like this magical quality about you. And I think the reason I'm having trouble pinpointing the word I'm trying to use is maybe because that's the feeling that you give people. They're around you and you're mysterious and you might come off, you know, uh, a little bit guarded sometimes with this jelly donut, just the way it's pictured here. You might come off guarded, but when you open up to people, there's like this it's like a, tr it's like a treasure, you know, you're a treasure of like knowledge and intuition and kindness and support, um, and guidance too. I think for you, people really look to you for guidance and advice because you're so intuitive as well. And I think you don't open up to people mainly because you are so intuitive. You are very intuitive. And, and like I was saying, you're an empath as well. So people drain you sometimes they recharge you too, but um, when too many people are asking for your attention and your undivided attention and trying to, you know, everyone's at you at once, it can get very draining. So I think that's where your independence comes from. But people really admire that. So people are noticing that you're independent and you likely have a very good job too. And you think, okay, well, how does that make me lovable? But what it does is it makes you inspiring, right? That's inspiring to people. Um, it's maybe, it's may, you know, your job isn't a quality about your personality. So you, that may be why that seemed confusing. But I think it's the qualities that, that led you to this job that make you so lovable. So you are an achiever. You don't give up. You're creative. We're getting so much creativity here. And your enthusiasm. You've got this night energy to you. Um, for whatever reason, we didn't get a night card, but I'm picking up this like full force ahead night energy where you are not afraid of an obstacle. You are not afraid of a challenge. You are the first person to kind of like make something happen. And, and uh, you, you're not afraid. Like, I think you trust. I think it's because you know yourself so well and you trust yourself and you're so intuitive and you're learning that about yourself, but how powerful and intuitive you are that, you know, it's, you're not afraid. You're not afraid because you know you can handle any challenge. And I think that's what makes you so mysterious because I think people are wondering like, how does he or she do it? Like, how do they do it? How, you know, they've got this, this mystery. I think that's maybe, even though we've got that word right here, maybe that's the word I'm trying to um, pick up on here is just like this mystery about you, this magic. It's like a little glimmer of like just this magic spark. That, that's you. You are a spark of magic to people. And they, they find you so attractive. And again, like I said, I think there's something physically about you that people find very lovable too. Um, so that could be just like the sparkle in your eye or, or just the way you the way you move, like you, um, the way you walk or your everyone has different um, mannerisms that make them 
themselves, right? So your mannerisms might even be something that people are very drawn to. Okay, let's look at the charms here. Threes. You never surprise me. You guys always get, get lots of charms. Okay. Okay, so we've got the alien. So right there, we've got more mystery. So mysterious, unknown. Um, people might actually be a little bit intimidated by you at times. So we've got abundance here. I'm just going to show you the letters first. We've got N, Q. We've got A, S, E, G, and a B. So one of these letters could be your initial. Um, if not, don't worry, it could be just for a few people. Sometimes they spell words, sometimes they don't. Um, so you're funny. You've got a sense of humor that people find very lovable and attractive. Your sense of humor. The word will is making me think of just what I was talking about. Your will to make things happen. You're not a quitter at all. Got an R here as well. Um, okay, so, emo okay, and that's, oh, okay, so this is interesting. So we got emotionally unavailable, and that's what I was sort of describing with the uh, jelly donut because you might come off like I was saying you might come off a bit guarded at times but once you let someone know get to know you you're you're just the treasure of a friend you're unique and you're mysterious and you've got all this like worldly knowledge uh we've got Aries we've got some fire energy here okay and, and that's kind of your vibe I think you might not be a fire sign but you've got this this peppy sparky energy this creative vibe about you Okay, so the retreat charm makes sense, like I was talking about with that independence and that need to kind of pull away. This charm always makes me think of pulling away a bit of a vacation or a retreating um, away from the public. So being, you know, having time to yourself, I think is really important to you. So that could just be sort of a bit of a side note here. So it's complicated. And I, I think you're a very complicated person. Um, and if you're watching this and it's not resonating, no worries. Um, you can go pick another pile, but I think if you're, if you, if you know that this is meant for you, then you know, like you're complicated and you might be a little bit guarded, but you're, you know what you have to offer too. And I think that's, that's a big part of it as well. Um, this little mini card here, we've got, oh, we've got double ace of swords. So, um, the ace of swords, I think it's, it's clarity. Um, it can have to do with communication too. I think you're very direct as a person in general. Like when you talk, you're very direct. Um, you say what you mean and you mean what you say. And I think that is a quality that sometimes people can, um, miss, misread sometimes perhaps because it can come off as very direct or sharp sometimes, but you're very honest as well. And I think that's the important thing to remember here. Honest, but secretive. And those things aren't, um, aren't opposite because honesty and secretiveness is just being very secretive. I, as a Scorpio, am extremely secretive, but I'm also very honest. So if you can identify with that, it just means um, you don't share all your secrets and your, your dreams and your hopes, but you're very honest about what you do share. So that's one quality about you. Um, and that's making me think of like this message in a bottle. You're like, this this is like a little bottle of secrets and mystery and, and all of this like exciting um, information that you have in your mind that comes through your intuitiveness and that magical quality about you. Um, I make, so you have a sense of manifestation as well. Um, I think that you are an excellent manifester. People really admire that about you. Um, but, you know, even though we're getting this independent that energy of like pulling away, you are, like I said at the beginning, an excellent friend. You're reliable and you're honest. You might keep your friend group very small, but you are an excellent and lifelong friend. Once once you're a friend to someone, you never back down. So um, lovable quality. Now, sometimes the frying pan can literally just mean an excellent cook or chef. So you might um, really like food and that can be a lovable quality. I mean, these are all personality things, right? Um, maybe you, you've got a knack for cooking and people really enjoy that. That can also just mean like what you put into something is what you get out. So people are probably recognizing your hard work and how hard you've got, you know, you've had to be to get to where you are now. So people really do recognize that. The mirror again is making me think of that avocado card, which is like, beauty. I think you are a very beautiful person, but I think that's not just your outward appearance. It's also because you are a good person. 
okay? Um, the sun would be um, a masculine energy that I'm picking up on here. Uh, so when we talk about the sun and the moon, we've got the moon is a little bit more feminine and receptive energy. Uh, the, the sun is a masculine energy and it's very clear. So like I was saying with the clarity, the clear cut communication, um, nothing's, you know, what's interesting. It almost seems, um, contradicting because you are so secretive, but you're also very honest. Okay. You're very like, you're very truthful with what you say in this sun the sun uh, card and charm can have to do with honesty or, or what you see is what you get and i think that's you um you can still have all your your secrets and your your mystery but you know you're also very straightforward and i think that's a nice balance is you've got this straightforwardness but you've also got this magic mystery so it's a really kind of nice balance that you have there so the pinata again is reminding me of that jelly donut card where you've got this like this mystery, and it might take some work to get to know you. It might take time to get to know you um, as a person, but once you do, it's just like it's a treasure, it's a treat, it's exciting and fun. Um, with the fairy, again, that that otherworldly magic realm mystery about you, where you're you've almost got a spell. That's the word I was thinking of. You almost like put a spell on people, but in a positive way. Um, when they leave your company, they're like, oh my gosh. I can't stop thinking about that person, um, both romantically and friendship wise, that you make a big impact on people's lives. So the um, crystal teardrop means usually that you you or people have been through a challenge um, that's made you stronger. And I think in this instance, it's talking about you. So you've become a lot stronger through some sort of adversity or some sort of challenge. You've become quite a bit stronger as a person and people recognize that too. And I think that's another thing that makes you very lovable. Okay. Um, adventure for you is huge. I'm picking up on that. Just like I was saying earlier, even though we didn't get a night, I'm feeling night energy, uh, night of the wands, especially, I feel like you might be an adrenaline, uh, tracer or just someone who likes, likes a lot of excitement. And I think people recognize that and they find that very, um, lovable and special about you is that you're always up for a challenge. You know, you stare challenges right in the eye and you just move right forward. And that confidence and that bravery, I think is, you know, a very admirable quality. So group three, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If it's resonating, if it, fe if it feels like this is for you, I'd love to hear it down below in the comments. Um, I always love your comments and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.